Hello and welcome to the calculator guy video on the capture recapture method using solve and ratio mode. The capture recapture method is used to estimate the population by tagging a captured sample, releasing it and then recapturing a second sample to see how many are tagged. Now, this is a very common technique used to estimate the population of animals in the wild such as birds and insects and such but mathematically you also might encounter it in a question that involves the number of counters or beads in a bag where you don't know the total number but you can use this technique with a sample to try and estimate what the total number is but most commonly encountered uh, when you're trying to survey the number of creatures in, in the wild obviously it's very difficult to capture an entire population so you would just capture a, a sample of them and then use this method to try and estimate what the full population in a particular area is let's have a look at this question Jaden wants to find out how many sparrows there are in a woodland one day he puts a tag on each of 44 of the sparrows so that means he's that he's essentially captured 44 of the sparrows so these are just it is just to put a tag on them uh, so that he can track where that they're going and so the very next day he catches 50 sparrows and of those 58 of these sparrows have tags on them and what we need to do is to work out an estimate for the number of sparrows that there are in that woodland area. So basically the capture recapture method is based on a ratio. So let's take a look at that now. Uh, we have capital M over capital N equals M over N, uh, lowercase letters. Now I like it this way around because basically the left hand side refers to the capture, what's happening initially, and then the right hand side is referring to the recapture. Now M is the number of tagged uh, creatures that we've got so in this case we've got sparrows so the capital M that we'd have on the top on the left hand side that would be the number of animals initially tagged so that was 44 sparrows initially and the little m would be how many were tagged in our recapture well that was eight eight of the sparrows well it was eight out of 50 so the n on the bottom the lowercase n that's going to be 50 sparrows now what's missing is the uppercase n that is the estimate of the population and that's what we need to find and essentially how this works is that we're assuming that these are going to be in proportion with each other so essentially 44 to 8 will be in the same proportion or the same ratio as our unknown total population is to 50. And what we're going to do is we're going to use solve on the calculator to help us out so we're going to set this up as it is written so we're going to use fraction button first Let's input the left hand side. So capital M is the number of sparrows we initially tagged. That's 44 over N, the total population that we don't know yet. That's what we're trying to work out. So we're going to use the letter X to represent that as an unknown. Navigate right to go back to the working line. Now, because we're going to use solve, we want an equals here, but don't press the equals button. And we want to include equals as part of what we're writing on the screen. So it's alpha and then calc. The calc button you can see there's a little red equals above that so that gives us an equal sign in there and then we want fraction button again and we want to set up our recapture information so little m is how many of the sparrows were tagged on our recapture well that was eight and then on the bottom it was how many sparrows we caught in the recapture well it was 50 sparrows altogether so eight out of 50. So essentially almost what we're doing here is is resolving an equivalent fraction and finding out what that is now there's several different ways you can do that you can do that necessarily without using um, solve but it just makes it easier to set it up as it is so we understand what's going on now we want to solve for x so if you press shift and solve see so at the moment x is zero but all we need to do is to press equals for the calculator to work that out for us and that's worked out x as 275 so what that's telling us is the estimate of the population of sparrows in this woodland area is 275 sparrows in total. Again, it is an estimate. We don't know the exact number. We're going to assume that they're in proportion with the recapture that we did, where we got 8 out of 50 back from our initial tags. So let's have a go at a follow-up question. So on another day, Jaden decides to tag Robins and he tags X Robins. So we don't know how many Robins he initially tagged in this one. The next day he catches 10 Robins and he discovers that three of those Robins have tags on them. And from that he works out that there are 60 Robins in the woodland. So 60 Robins total population. So we know our capital N this time, we know our little M 
and little n. What we don't know is the capital M on the left hand side. That is the number of robins that were initially tagged. Let's set up the same set of fractions again. So fraction button. This time it is X on the top. Uh, capital M is unknown. And on the bottom we want, well, he's worked out that the total population or, or his estimate for the total population is 60. So we'll input that there, navigate right. And then alpha and then introduce an equal sign fraction button again and then it's our proportions from the recapture so that was three tagged robins out of 10 that were recaptured and shift solve for x we can still see the 275 is in there from our previous question so just press equals again and here we have a result for how many were initially tagged this is from the capture the first capture that there were 18 robins that were initially tagged now there is an alternative method we could use we could use ratio mode from the class Wiz, um, to help us solve this if we prefer so we can press menu and navigate to c ratio now we do have to swap the fractions around this time this will refer to the recapture first and then the capture which is why it's probably not quite as comfortable a method but it would still yield the same results so i'm going to choose one here to resolve this question if you were resolving the first question that we had it would be better to choose two rather than one but we'll just answer this second part of the question we're going to use option one here now on the left hand side here we're going to input number tagged and we're going to input the number from the recapture that were tagged and the total number that were recaptured so that's three and ten on the right hand side well we've got an unknown x and on the right we've our estimate of the population 60 so let's fill in what we know three and ten it automatically just scrolls across for you so that is the convenience of using ratio mode and then 60 and if you press equals then that's resolved the unknown there solve for x that is 18. It's quite quick provided you're comfortable with where everything's going to be placed and what to use. You could use ratio mode rather than uh, use fractions and solve. So there we go, how we can use the class Wiz to help us with any questions that we might have on the capture and recapture method. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time on the calculator guide.